a 10 year old female child presented with progressive symptoms of chest pain palpitation and syncope initial diagnosis suspected by a junior resident in opd was that of hcm hypertrophic cardiomyopathy 10 year old female child right on detailed evaluation there were additional symptoms of skeletal muscle weakness and ocular evaluation revealed a retinopathy in the patient the disease was found to have an x linked dominant basis which of the following is the likely reason of the features present in the child so we have four options here lamp2 mutation acid maltase deficiency glucose 6 phosphatase deficiency and glut2 deficiency so what are these diseases first of all have a look at the option then we'll look at the keywords option a is lamp2 mutation which is nothing but lamp2 mutation it is a lysosomal uh, protein which is involved in the glycogen metabolism and the abnormalities related to lamp2 mutation produce a disease called as dannon's disease dannon disease is very closely related to pompe's disease but it is not given a specific type of like the numerical nomenclature which has been given to glycogen storage disease is dannon disease does not come into the ambit but it is now included as a type of a rare type of glycogen storage disease right so if you look at the nelson table also they mentioned dannon disease there second is acid maltase deficiency which is nothing but pompe's disease or type 2 glycogen storage disease type c is the classic von gierke's disease that is type 1 gst or von gierke's disease and type uh, the option d glut2 deficiency which in bone error of metabolism is associated with glut2 deficiency we are thinking of cardiac and skeletal muscle involvement yes it is type 11 glycogen so yes it is type 11 glycogen storage disease also called as fankeny bickel syndrome right now you try to see what is the likely answer try to look at the four options and you can easily rule out that there is cardiac involvement there is skeletal muscle involvement now von gierke disease and type 11 gsd will not have these type of manifestations and so they are easily ruled out so the answer has to be between a and b option remember that both of them can have a hocm that is hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy like presentation but what is the key clinching point here it is a female child there is development of retinopathy which is not very common in pompe's disease and the most important thing inheritance it is not a one liner but that one liner thing can clinch the diagnosis here because if there is confusion between dannon and pompe's disease pompe's disease will be autosomal recessive in nature whereas dannon's disease is x linked dominant it is a female child presenting with this and so the likely answer to this question is dannon's disease that is lamp2 mutation tricky question but uh, what are the key points that you need to remember whenever you have a suspected glycogen storage disease with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy like presentation right so in these patients you there will be two possibilities you will have either pompe's disease and secondly you will have dannon's disease pompe's disease will be due to acid maltase deficiency dannon's disease will be due to lamp2 abnormalities or lamp2 mutations pompe's disease will be showing autosomal recessive inheritance whereas dannon's disease will show x linked dominant inheritance pompe's disease retinal features are absent here you will find peripheral retinopathy to be a common feature it will be a relatively common feature age of onset cardiological features presence of murmur syncope skeletal muscle severity involvement they can vary and they can be overlapping across the two spectrum so these are the three important points in addition to others obviously there will always be more features than this but from entrance point of view these are the points which you must remember for distinguishing between these two closely related differential diagnoses right mm -hmm.